Uh, I got sunburnt yesterday. Pretty sure you can tell. I feel like the lobster queen. <laughs> hey guys, it's Kendra, and today I have a new video for you. Muppet arms. <laughs> I'm excited for today's video because, well, excited isn't such a good word to describe how I'm feeling. I guess I'm just kind of excited about this video because I get to explore something that has been in my mind recently and that's of course having to do with anxiety. So yesterday I had kind of a rough spot, um, well I just kind of had a rough day yesterday and that's because I tend to get really anxious on longer car rides and I do totally plan on explaining that. But for right now, I'm just gonna suffice it to say that I get anxious during longer car rides. And yesterday was one of the longer car rides, uh, like one of the more recent longer car rides that I've been on. And technically yesterday's events were all still pretty close by. They were all like 30 minutes, actually less than 30 minutes away from the house and yet I still got anxious. <sighs> Anyways, yesterday I just, I went on a hike with my mom and my sister and that's why I got sunburnt. <laughs> I was anxious during the hike and actually I was anxious on the car ride to the park that we were going to hike at and I just, hiking has become like a spiritual experience now. I feel like now when I go hiking it's like me constantly praying out, calling out and praying to God just saying. I need your help to get me through this, I can't do this alone. Anyways, I got anxious during the hike and then I got anxious as we were kind of getting close to leaving because I get uh, especially anxious when we're going on the freeway. The freeway driving is stressful for me because I have this irrational kind of fear that I'm not going to be able to get out of the car and like, or get out of the car and use the bathroom if I needed to and just have whatever I needed nearby. I just simply I feel trapped in the car so traffic really really makes me stressed and anxious because I totally feel trapped like we're not even moving so I hate traffic and traffic was the reason I was all stressed out and anxious was I didn't know how the traffic was gonna be on the way back and long story I know this has been kind of a long drawn-out story but anyways we didn't actually hit any traffic on the way back as far as I know because I kind of had my eyes shut and I was listening to music. And, uh, <laughs> I actually started crying on the car ride back and at first I thought I was crying because I was anxious, like fearful tears, but then I kind of thought about it and I realized I wasn't actually crying because I was afraid. I was actually crying because I was sad and I was sad that I couldn't ride home without having anxious feelings and thoughts. And I was sad because I realized that I've lost things because of my anxiety. And that's actually what my video today is about. It's about what I've lost and what I've gained through having anxiety. First off, the biggest thing that I feel that I've lost during my anxiety is a larger comfort zone. My comfort zone used to be a lot larger. I used to be able to ride in the car for hours without feeling anything. And so I feel really sad that I've lost that ability because there is that part of me that loves long car rides. It's so weird. I, I love the idea of car ride road trip type things. And I've always loved going up to the mountains and seeing like the mountain uh, towns. I miss being able to do those things without being afraid, without feeling like I'm going to go into a panic attack at any moment. I think that was really why I was crying on the car ride back yesterday, because I was just mourning the loss of my freedom. Really I feel like that's something, one of the biggest things that I feel like I've lost is my freedom. And that's so strange because before all of this happened, I wasn't free. I I was so stuffed up with emotions. I have had a lot of negative feelings throughout my life and I just never dealt with them. So I would stuff them all and I would ignore the feelings and I would ignore the pain and I would just press on. I wouldn't let myself feel. I'd go numb. But that's why 
anxiety kind of crept up on me is because I didn't deal with those feelings and now they come out in the way of anxiety or in the form of anxiety. So I never really was free in the past. I always had these emotions that were locked inside of me and I just lived my life ignoring that. And I have had people in my life in the past and in the present as well who have tried to control me and I just went with it. I didn't fight back or anything like that. So I wasn't free, but I was able to go on long car rides. So I just, that's something I feel like I've lost. So to recap, the two main things that I feel like I've lost during my anxiety has been my freedom and my comfort zone. Now to make things a little better and a little more hopeful. Now it's time to tell you the things that I've gained through having anxiety. I've gained a lot more trust in God. Even though I've had to go through these horrible things, I've gained more trust in God because he's gotten me through them. Because he has shown up for me in the most unexpected ways. Because he got me through. And so even though I still have trust issues with God, and I guess sometimes with people too, really, I don't know, but even though I still have those trust issues and I sometimes lack faith, God is producing more trust and more faith in me every single day. Every single time that I make it through another anxious moment, another anxious day, I see God more and more. That is something that I am so thankful to have. The next thing that I've gained through having anxiety is true freedom. And this is something that I'm still learning how to gain something I'm still like in the process of gaining but it's something that I feel myself inching closer and closer towards freedom from having to perform for people's love freedom from perfection you know perfectionism I'm a perfectionist so I just yeah you get it <laughs> freedom from people pleasing pe freedom from what people think about me and just freedom to live my life. I feel like this journey has really gotten me to realize that I haven't really been living my life. I haven't really stood forward and actually claimed what I wanted, which is another thing that I've gained, is the ability to actually speak up for myself and ask for the things that I want. Overall, through this entire thing, I've gained a better perspective of who I am in Christ and who I am just as a human being. Before anxiety, I didn't know that I was actually like, a lot of people perceive me as this bubbly, sparkly kind of, I don't know how to even describe it. Um, my counselor says charismatic. I never saw myself as being a charismatic person at all. I always felt more like a wallflower than anything else. Another thing about identity and finding out who I really am is just, <laughs> I'm praying that I will see myself the way that God sees me. And the way God sees me is holy, righteous in his sight, perfect, and worthy of love. Also, this is something I really love, is that he sees me as a princess and he sees me as his precious jewel and as his beloved child. If you've accepted Jesus as your savior, then that is how God sees you too. If you're a guy though, you're more of a prince, not a princess, sorry. <laughs> I want to see myself that way more. I want to have more confidence. And I feel like that is something also that I'm gaining through anxiety is more confidence and more fearlessness, more bravery. And I know that sounds totally counterintuitive, like, oh, but you feel afraid all the time. How can you feel fearless and brave? Well, the truth is, is that, yeah, I feel totally afraid a lot of the time. And I feel fearful, not fearless. I don't feel bold. I don't feel brave. The truth is that bravery isn't an absence of fear. It's doing what you feel is right, even if you are afraid. I've seen that more in me than I did before. Before, things, yeah, I got scared for things before my anxiety hit, but now that anxiety has hit me and I like deal with it on a daily basis, pretty much, 
I see more and more that I actually am a really brave person. And it isn't anything of my own strength, of my own accord. It's totally up to God and it's totally something that he is producing in me. Because on my own, I couldn't do anything. I, I couldn't do any of the things that I've been doing. On my own, I would have stayed in bed and given up on life. Just being real. But with God, all things are possible. And with God, I've done amazing things. I've conquered my fears over and over, and that is true bravery. And I'm not trying to like toot my own horn or anything, but I've always wanted to be brave. And now I am. So those are just some of the things that I've gained through this experience of having anxiety. Oh, I wanted to say that <laughs> I know my last video was kind of discouraging, but I hope, well, it was about discouragement, so I was hoping it wouldn't be discouraging, but I was really down that day, so. I hope that this video was more encouraging and more uplifting. I don't really know if anyone who sees this video actually has anxiety like I do, but I hope that this video will reach somebody who will be encouraged and inspired and will know that there is hope. And for me, my hope is found in Christ alone. So. If you ever want to talk about that, leave me a comment down below. I'd really love to talk to you about it. That's it for this video, guys. Once again, thank you for watching. If I didn't already say it, I, I probably did. I, I say thank you too much. <laughs> Alright, so I'll be talking to you later, guys. Bye.